and father on his way to go fishing Tuesday morning. And now detectives are trying to figure out who hit and killed Rob Royer and then drove away. Sheriff's deputies say Royer was hit Tuesday morning around 1.30 as he rode his bike along Park Road in Spokane Valley. Today, Spokane County deputies say that they have a person of interest and may have found the car that hit him. KXY Force John Hendricks spoke with Royer's fiance today, a new mom in mourning. John. Nadine, Tina Mur Murray was, uh, says that Rob was headed to the river to set up a special day for her daughter, but he never did make it. Murray says her fiancé had a huge impact on all the people that he met. You were just the cutest thing, so much joy you will bring. Tina Murray reads the powerful words. Me and your mom, we love you. There is nothing we won't do. Written by her fiancé, Rob Royer, to their little girl, Roy Ann. He was a hard worker. He was generous, helpful. Um, honest. They are just a few of the memories she'll have after her father was hit and killed on his bike early Tuesday morning. He had this bright idea throughout the day that he was going to catch a fish for Roy Ann, so because she hadn't caught one down at the fishing hole. The couple had planned to practice for the first day of school by getting up early and making the short walk. Afterwards, they planned to head to the river where Royer would have a fishing pole with the fish on the line waiting so he could watch the excitement in his daughter's eye as she reeled it in. We were going to go out that night and catch a fish for her and keep it on the line so she, she could pull it in like she caught it. On the way to meet Rob, Murray found police at a roadblock instead. I said, well, what's going on here? Why are you guys still here? And they said that there was an accident with a bicycle involved. And at that time, I just knew it was Rob. We now know around 1.30 Tuesday morning, as Rob was on his way to catch that fish, he was hit by a car. It then sped off. I wanted to go to him and give him mouth to mouth or something, bring him back, because I knew he wouldn't leave. He wouldn't have left us if he could have been safe. Murray says her fiance was a kind man, always wanting to help those he knew. He and his daughter, Royanne, loved their bikes. He built her first one something she fell in love with. Every time he was there, take her to school and pick her up. On it, and he had the little cart built so he could bring the bike to her. Tina knows nothing will bring him back, but adds she wants whoever hit her soon-to-be husband to come forward. I just want the guy to know that Rob would forgive you for this. A lot of people will probably can't, but Robert has, I know he has. Now, if you know anything about this case, if you saw anything, heard anything, you're asked to call Crime Check at the number on your screen, 456-2233. Reporting live tonight from Spokane Valley, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.